the sun in and out of clouds. Not rain, greeting the Daniel Hand High School class of 2017. A forecast of wicked weather moved up graduation seven hours earlier than scheduled. The midday shift was a challenge for Helen Odom. She did it throw you yes, off? Yes, they did. It did a little bit, but you know what? All my coworkers at my the salon I work at all pitched in to help me. So I really appreciate it. A shout out to all the girls in cost cutters in Meriden. <laughs> Thanks to them, Helen arrived in time. You know what? The, the number one thing is the kids' safety. Others dealt with the change the best they could. My dad had to take off work again. Yeah. Yeah. What about you said who some people couldn't make yeah, it? Yeah, like my aunt, she like is a teacher, so she could only come at night because she has to work during the day because their school is still in session, so she wasn't able to make it. The early start led to some adjustments. I woke up at 5.45 so I could straighten my hair and do all my makeup and stuff, so it was kind of inconvenient, but I'm glad it's nice weather. Amid words of reminders. We need to cherish these friendships and take risks. The beach balls and handing out the much-earned diplomas. John Nicholas Joseph Avery. The day was summed up best by Sam Friedman. I just think that whatever window of opportunity we had to get graduation in today, um, was what we should go with. I'm glad that we talked to the town meteorologist and all itself. Mr. Salutary made an awesome decision to move it up so that we could all be here and we could have a great celebration. And celebrate they did with tongues of family and friends. In Madison, Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.